and I have heard what the church leaders have been asking us that you sit and negotiate and I want to subscribe to what Senator Richard Onyonka has said do not sit to negotiate with leaders about positions of leadership sit with leaders and discuss how shall we restore our economy how shall we restore the creation of jobs and wealth for the millions of our youth who have no jobs your excellency nataka ni kuambie sisi kama viongozi kwa bunge tutashirikiana and we shall have that conversation in the right place in the national assembly and in the senate where my brother richard nyonka sits in so that we discuss how shall we make sure that the cost of living comes down so that when we say food prices are coming down and are high and we intend to bring them down your excellency we must also know and realize that as food prices come down huyu mwananchi wa kawaida hata chakula bei ya chakula ishuke chini leo hii rais mwananchi bila kupata nafasi ya kazi hata kuwa na uwezo na mapato ya kununua ile chakula and you cannot have an opportunity ya kupata mapato ya kununua chakula if we are also disrupting our economy na mambo ya maandamano in conclusion your excellency i want to encourage you please focus on what is important to these people who are gathered here and millions of other kenyans focus on our economy that was destroyed in a few months under the handshake regime your excellency don't focus on what leaders are asking you to focus on nimesikia wakati nimesikiza onyonka nimesikia even the leadership in kisi has moved beyond the elections therefore anybody taking us back to the election is taking our country back anybody talking to us about the cost of living and at the same time disrupting our economy with looting with hooliganism in nairobi and i am glad your excellency that the leadership in kisi are saying there are no demonstrations in kisi and nyamira lakini haitoshi kutokuwa na demonstrations in kisi and nyamira ile supermarket ililutiwa nairobi embakasi ni ya kijana mkisi aliporwa mali ya zaidi ya milioni 25 ma tv ma fridge na nilisikia jana mheshimiwa rais kiongozi tunamheshimu aliyekuwa prime minister akinilundukizia mimi maneno na naibu wa rais ati tunampangia na ni kweli tunampangia na tutampangia sababu wakati mulisafirisha yeye 2017 aliyekuwa rais wetu alifanya yeye political resuscitation but this time your excellency sisi hatuwezi pangia yeye mambo maovu lakini mambo ya kisiasa nataka nikuambie nikuhakikishie mimi na naibu wako wa rais na hawa viongozi wengine tutaendelea kupanga siasa ya kuunganisha wananchi wote wa Kenya pamoja but we shall not entertain bloodshed anarchy in our country your excellency and that we shall continue to condemn without fear without favor and without looking at who is causing and inciting kenyans into bloodshed and anarchy as we work together as leaders your excellency kwa hayo mengi nataka niulize kwa heshima unikubalie kiongozi wa wengi kwa nyumba la senate ameingia mheshimiwa Aaron Cheruyot aje atusalimie watu wa